Last fall, I interviewed with Spotify for a staff mobile software engineer position. It was probably one of my best interviews, but with unexpected results. Today, I'll share everything they asked me, how the interview went, and give you tips on how to succeed. Initially, I reached out to them myself just apply it directly through their website. You're probably thinking, why Spotify? Actually, it is one of my top choice companies for multiple reasons. First of all, they're known as a company with modern agile engineering culture. They were one of the pioneers of introducing agile approach to building software at really high scale. About 10 years ago, I watched their video called Spotify Engineering Culture Part 1 and Part 2 and was highly impressed. All those squads, guilds, and other agile things were a new thing back then. Those videos became classics in the engineering community, so you should definitely check them out. Okay, second, they offer an option to work remotely for a wide range of countries, which is a nice thing. And third, I sort of like their company values like being sincere, passionate, and playful. How many other companies do you think have playful as their corporate value? All right, so I applied through their website for a position called Staff Mobile Software Engineer. Uh, the interesting part is that this position was not purely iOS or Android, but both which was actually really interesting for me as I have an experience on both platforms. The team name was Mobile Data Collection, which is the team that is responsible for collecting and processing data from iOS and Android Spotify apps. I applied in July, but got a response only two months later. The recruiter shuttled a call with me and explained that during the summer, all interviewers were gone on holidays and now they were ready to talk to me. Also, they were accumulating people who were interested in interviewing, and I was shortlisted. He explained that I would have two stages. First one, a screening interview with a hiring manager, and second one, a full interview loop consisting of four different interviews. Uh, algorithms coding, iOS coding, mobile system design, and staff tech leadership interview. I already had an offer from another company at that moment, so I asked the recruiter to schedule the interviews as fast as possible. Luckily, he agreed and arranged them for the following week, which was very nice of them to do. The first interview was the screening interview with the hiring manager. It was a behavioral interview based on my resume and experience. It was conducted by a product manager who was a super cool woman from Spain and I really enjoyed our conversation. She was the product manager of the team that was looking for a tech lead who could handle both iOS and Android work streams and could lead uh, communication with multiple other teams. Questions were mostly about my experience, my resume, and uh, the scale of my previous projects. For example, there was a question, walk me through how you led a project from scratch to finish, including planning, execution, rollout plan, and the outcome. The interview went well, and a few days later, I received an invite for the main interview loop, which consisted of four different interviews in one day. The first one was staff tech leadership interview. It was very similar to behavioral interviews for engineering managers, because usually staff software engineers and engineering managers are on the same level, but in a different track. I was interviewed by two senior engineering managers from Sweden. For those uh, who don't know, Spotify is actually a Swedish company, but obviously with an international presence and offices worldwide. There were a lot of interesting questions. For instance, talk about an example of responsibility in a project versus accountability in a project, which could be tricky for those who don't know the difference. Also, a good one was how to delegate a task when no one wants it. I was calm and focused on this interview because I generally enjoy talking about software engineering, which is a logical thing for a person who is running a small-time YouTube channel, so I think it went well. Okay, the next interview was a coding interview with a senior staff software engineer. That's a lot of words before software engineer, but I guess that was a really knowledgeable person at the level like E7 from Meta, but at Spotify. I was presented with an algorithm coding task to develop the implementation of a custom data structure based on the API for that data structure. 
I picked Swift as my programming language. The difficulty was like a medium lead code question and I managed to solve it, but not without problems. First of all, initially my brain locked and I spent too much time coming up with a solution. Second, during the coding part, the interviewer gave me a misleading tip. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, uh, but it confused me and I spent a few minutes figuring this thing out. Eventually, I finished the code and we talked about the time and space complexity of the solution. Also, he asked me how this code could be tested. I felt a little stressed after this interview. Next one was mobile system design. And you can guess that I was comfortable on this one because I have a lot of videos on this topic. I had two interviewers, both really active in the process. I was presented with a problem to design app architecture and a backend API. I needed to design a feature that exists in the Spotify app. I want to note here that all questions were related to some Spotify features, which is a logical thing to do instead of asking some random questions not related to work at all. So I came up with a schema for both mobile and the backend. I was explaining my approach as I was drawing the schema. Also, I was asked a few questions about uh, offline mode, image loading, which are typical questions in these types of interviews. We finished early and I had a lot of time to ask my questions about the company, the team, and the position. I usually like to ask something weird like, do you enjoy meals in the office? Just to have a less formal conversation and get to know people in the company. The last interview was iOS coding. By that time, I felt really tired of talking and just being in a warrior state. Also, my internet connection started lagging, which spoiled the process. Again, I had two interviewers, one from the UK and another from the Netherlands. The task was to code a simple app with a table view to show some content. I needed to share my screen and do it from scratch in Xcode using Swift. For this interview, I was intentionally preparing beforehand because it is really difficult to do it right away. I did it a few times before timing myself. I memorized the coding structures and the approach, so the interview went smoothly. Also, the interviewers gave me a few tips during the process, which was very generous of them. They were both really active and supportive during the interview. Usually people understand that the interview process is stressful in itself, so they act supportive not to stress you out even more. After that interview, I exhaled with relief because I had zero energy and I wanted to relax after all those interviews. Okay, you might be wondering what the outcome was. A few days later, the recruiter reached out to me and told me that the feedback was positive. I nailed the staff tech leadership interview, no comments about that. On algorithm coding, I did relatively fine. The feedback was that I got to the solution, but they expected fewer nudges and tips. On mobile system design, I did really well. And on iOS coding, again, they were happy, but expected fewer tips. Overall, they were happy with my interview, but they were not offering me the job because the position was on hold during the reprioritization in the company. So that was a no. What happened? You probably remember that in the last autumn, Spotify closed all vacancies and even started laying off people. They laid off about 17% of their stuff. That happened just after my interviews, so the timing was really bad for me. Sadly, it didn't work out this time. What are my learnings from this story? First, I noticed that I do really well on talking interviews and architecture ones, but I'm weaker on coding interviews, even though I have 10 plus years of experience. I'm not sure if this is my age or I'm doing something wrong with my life. So nowadays, I lean more towards management, mentoring and content creation instead of actively coding new features. Second, bad times with layoffs could come even to our precious IT sector. Previously, it was unheard of. Companies were fighting for software engineers and were ready to relocate them from other countries just to get more IT specialists. But nothing is permanent. Everything is 
impermanent, imperfect, and incomplete, as the Wabi Sabi philosophy says. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day!